a lot of you may have wondered over this weekend if it was a good idea to sell your portfolios or a part of it previous week. I don't think anyone expected the markets to open green today, but I'm not sure if most of us expected the markets to be as red as they ended the day with. If you see the dashboard on the right side, there were only two places to hide today, ONGC and Gale. Nifty Bank Index was completely shattered. I think a lot of people just emptied their portfolio, especially the profitable positions, because a lot of stocks that have fallen a lot today were the bulls of the last few months. Coming to the trigger, let me spend two minutes on what is happening there. On my left, there is a map which shows Iran, Israel and the key trade routes which talk about the real root cause of what is happening. This is a video which is coming up in about two days time maybe where I'll talk about the key trade routes, why typically the trade routes involving Middle East are so volatile for last three or four decades. Most of the wars have been fought somewhere around that area. For now, the proposed war between Iran and Israel seems to be at a standstill. Both countries have said they are not interested in taking it forward. I'm seeing a lot of people mocking Iran that all 300 UAVs were shot down. They just symbolically fired 300 of probably their stale equipment. The idea was to tell the world that we will not hesitate in attacking Israel or any other country if it comes to our security. They expected all of these to be shot down. Otherwise, this would have become a big, big escalation even if one civilian life was lost in Israel. So for now, any negative sentiments around the war should stem. Will the markets come to peace? I think US markets will open a little optimistic because the war is no longer happening. Remaining day depends upon the news flow, the CPI, job data, all the current events, everything is over. The bank results have been okay, not that great, but they are not that bad either. The economy is not looking that great as it was looking last year. There is frankly no news in that when it comes to US or even India. This year cannot be as good as the previous year, which was on top of a bad set of two years. So people should have realistic expectations from the percentages, which are year on year and quarter on quarter number in both geographies. Let's now jump to market action. As expected, the markets opened gap down. They breached 22,300, but they immediately recovered. It seemed like that people have accepted that the war is not happening and will not have a bad day. Around 11 a.m. is when the selling started and then the market did not look back. It just kept falling and falling and falling and close towards the lowest point of the day. The wick shot up nearly 13% to 169 Last week, I had mentioned that VIX was unexpectedly lowering despite the volatility in the market. Remember, US markets had a very high VIX on Friday when they fell. In terms of market action, there is no point talking about stocks today. Only ONGC, which got an upgrade and Gas Authority of India, they were up. Besides that, it was a sea of reds. FIIs, I think, would have sold a lot. The net might have been low. Usually what happens is FIIs sell a lot but they buy something else which they find more favorable. So the net turns out to be low. This also is reflecting because currency is not fluctuating much. If the FIIs were selling and taking the money out, then that would have reflected in the rupee becoming stronger. Today, retail volumes, I think, are high. DIIs would have probably come to the rescue only. They may have been on the sell side only if there was a mutual fund redemption pressure. It would have happened today or it will happen tomorrow. But I'm not sure if one day or one event will make our local investor throw in the towel and start selling, though a big profit booking is due in the mutual funds. So overall FIs would have been low to medium sellers. DIs would have mostly bought what FIs sold or they may have been read if mutual funds came into pressure. Bitcoin halving is happening on the night of 19th or 20th. Bitcoin count will reduce to half. Bitcoin is seeing heavy profit ahead of that event. Markets also are stabilizing right now, hopefully with the war not happening. So people have decided that Bitcoin is not continuing its bull run probably for now. The current price is roughly 66,000. This was as high as 72,000 last week if I remember correctly. Gold is happy at 72,000. It is not in the mood to fall primarily because China has been dumping US treasury bills and buying gold. Till the dumping of US treasury by China stops, gold will probably continue because of the central bank buying in China. Also next month is Akshay Tritya. That will lead to gold buying. Indians buy a lot of gold around Akshay Tritya. So that will only lead to the bull run in gold. Brent has finally realized that war is not happening. So it will not get an opportunity to cross 100. 
traders are taking profit right now it has dropped below 90 for now but i don't think brent will go below 80 for now index heavyweight wise reliance was okay tcs fell a lot hdfc bank was down quarter to two percent ICICI bank was down 2.5% because people had most profit on ICICI bank in terms of the banking index. My trades, I just did a basic calculation at the end of the day today. Had I not sold what I sold on Friday, I would have ended with a loss of 53,500. Now again, if the markets open tomorrow, then this will look like a stupid move because whatever I sold may give profit tomorrow. But that is the life of a trader. I booked profits on Friday. If I had not, then those profits would have been eaten by an amount of 53,000 today. So I prefer to take the profits off. Now, this is not the life of an investor. I wear both hats. At times, I'm an investor. At times, I'm a trader. And traders by compulsion find it very difficult to stay out of the market. So I bought a bit of idea today. I'll probably sell it once I have 20% kind of profit. Probably the stop loss will remain around 10 rupees for idea. Looking at the fall in ICICI and looking at how strong it has been, I bought ICICI today. This is again for trading reasons. If it falls more, I'll buy a little more. Hindustan Zinc has been very strong last few days. It fell a lot today. So I again bought Hindustan Zinc. If markets recover, I expect ICICI Bank and Hindustan Zinc to be recovering fastest. How did the indices do today? The red seems smaller because of the spike in ONGC. Let me just bring it down a bit. Immediately you see, it's a sea of reds. Hindalco up. I'm just momentarily reducing the sizes of the greens. This will show you the real impact of reds today. TCS 1.5. HDFC 1.5, ICIC 2.5, HUL was down 1.7%, Bajaj Finance 2.1%, Tata Motors down 2%, Adani Enterprise down 1.95%, Bajaj FinServe 2.5%, Wipro 2.5%. So IT pack was under severe pressure, maybe inspired by the TCS results. For the market, TCS results met the expectation or rather exceeded it, but my concerns still continue. And those will remain with Infosys and Wipro also. HCL may be slightly better. Let's check Bank Nifty now. All reds, not a single green. Kotak was down least. Federal was down less as well. But the index cannot be green if HDFC, ICICI, SBI all are down more than 1%. Let's check how Nifty next 50 did. All reds, again, very little greens. Colgate, Mother Sumi, Gale, BL. That's pretty much it. HL, very high volumes. This hash name comes when the volumes are very high. Some of the volumes were very high today. Adani Greens, IOC, HAL, Varun Beverages, PEL, Interglobe, which is Indigo, Tata Power. So volumes were very high for certain stocks. That is why I was saying a lot of retail seem to have dumped their portfolios today. Overall, a red day, if people had taken positions, futures or option market on the sell side today, they would have made some money. However, usually the premiums are so volatile that these days even traders who are on the right side of the trade also don't make too much money. This is not a market to take fresh trades unless you can average down or you have an appetite to book losses. Stay out if you are afraid of losses. This market will continue to be volatile. I don't think tomorrow will be a calmer day. Note that Wednesday is a holiday because of Ramnavmi. So Bank Nifty expiry will get pre pwned to Tuesday, which is tomorrow. That is why probably banks are extra volatile today. This will again be a shortened four-day week. US markets, I expect to open on the higher side today, slightly higher, but they will be undecided, slight tremor, slight bad news, and they will fall a lot. I don't expect, frankly, that they will go up a lot today. Though traders do need to cover their shorts. I haven't tracked what major results are coming out today in the US market. If there's any major result which is good or bad, that may cheer the market or the market may sell because of that. I'll start tracking the results again. I need to get back to Indian results also. Also, I'll do that later today and I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully a better day tomorrow. Thanks for watching.